In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create and send invoices on Stripe. So what you need to do is first go ahead and log into your Stripe account. You can see I'm logged in here to my account. Now, from here, you wanna to go to more, then go to invoices. And from here, you can create and send invoices in minutes. So go ahead and scroll down and then click on create invoice. That will take you to the invoice window where we can now go ahead and type in a customer's name and generate an invoice for them. So first you need to go ahead and find or add a customer. If you've got customers that you've already worked with, they will appear here. If not, then just type in a customer name. So let's just type in an example one. We'll just type in John Smith, just as an example. We can then add John Smith as a customer. Now, alternatively, if you're billing a business, you can add their business name here. So click add and then whatever the customer's called, you can then add an email for that customer. So I'll just enter in a random email that I've got just so I can show you what this will all look like. So I'll enter here contact click relay at gmail.com, just a random email that I have. And then I'm going to select the language as the US and then save customer. Now what you can do, you can add an item. So you need to go ahead and create a new product or you can add a one-time item. So if you have a product or a service that you are billing on a regular basis, you can go ahead and create a new product and maybe we wanna put here, let's say we're selling YouTube thumbnails, right? So let's put YouTube thumbnail design, quantity one, and then we will put the price to whatever it should be. So I'll put $50 for one thumbnail. If you go to item options, you can also add some tax options here and coupons. Now I'm not really qualified to give you tax advice, but you could add like VAT on top of that. I'm just gonna leave it at 50 pounds though, and we're going to then save this product here. So now you can see the invoice is starting to come together. We've got the item, which is 50 pounds. You can also add tax and you can also enable this to collect tax automatically, but you do have to set that up in your Stripe account. Now, if you scroll down, you come into the payment collection. From here, you can request a payment and you can request a due date. Now, mostly with invoices, depending on who you're billing, you want to have a due date between seven and 30 days. So I'm just going to leave it at seven days, currently the 8th of January. For a 50 pound invoice, let's just say we're gonna give them a week. So we'll say the 15th of January. Now, if you go ahead and click on manage payment methods, people will be able to pay over their credit or debit card or link, which I think is a Stripe product. So go ahead and save that once you've got those set up. Now, scrolling down, um, you can choose whether you want to automatically charge a payment method on file. If you click on that, I'm not gonna do that though because if you're sending an invoice, you're essentially requesting a payment. So then we'll scroll down even more. You've got the delivery. This is how the invoice will be paid. And we want to send the invoice to a customer via email. And we want to include the link to the payment page as well. Now scrolling down even more, you've got other fields which you can add, but I don't like to add any of these. I just want to scroll down and make sure everything's done here. Then we can go ahead and review this invoice. So click review invoice, and it's then going to ask you if you want to send this invoices, but they can't be edited after they've been paid. So go ahead and add here the email that you want to send the invoice to. So I'll just send it to contact, click relay at gmail.com, and you can then send that invoice. Okay, so now we've sent the invoice here, and you can see the timeline of this. So the payment page was created, it was finalized, and it was sent. So now let's go ahead and log in to my email and I'll just check that this invoice has been sent. Okay, so here I am inside of that email address that I sent the invoice to. You can see we've got a new invoice from, and then your company name will be here. I just created this Stripe account for a YouTube video. So the, the name is called YT. Then scrolling down, you've got the invoice and you can scroll down and the person you're sending the invoice to will be able to see what they've been charged for. They'll then be able to click on pay this invoice, which will take them to this Stripe page where they can then pay via their card or Google Pay. So once they've paid this invoice, you will get a notification and it will be marked paid on your account. So that's how you can send an invoice on Stripe.